If you have passion for planes and you love traveling by air, then this profession is absolutely for you. So today we are going to talk about the career options as pilot after 10 plus 2 science with maths. Highly trained professionals who go through in-depth training for flying various kinds of aircraft are known as pilots. So there are different kinds of specialization courses available for different types of aircrafts. From learning to operate various types of aircraft such as passenger aircraft, goods aircraft, the pilots are also responsible for maintaining the internal mechanism of aircraft. So depending on all these functions, let us see the types of trans pilots. So we'll have airline transport pilots, private pilots, sports for flight instructors, air force pilots, regional or commercial pilot, corporate pilot, fighter pilot and chartered pilot. The eligibility for the SAVE is going to be, so to enroll in any of the aviation courses, you will be required to fulfill the criteria as mentioned below. So your age should not be less than 17 years to begin training. You must have scored 50% in 10 plus 2, which may vary as per the institute requirement. You must have studied PCM subject, that is physics, maths, chemistry, along with English in class 12. You will need a medical certificate issued by the required authority again. It will be asked by So how do you become a pilot? If you are willing to clear the competitive entrance exams for Indian Defence Forces, then taking the Air Force route to become pilot is the one suitable for you. The pilot entrance exam after 12th is the NDA exam. By qualifying for the NDA exam, you can join the flying branch of IAF it is a math based and general ability exam comprising English, Geography, History, General Knowledge, Physics, Maths, Chemistry and Current Events as the main subjects. After that you are going to have SSP interview. So there are two stages of the interview. The first is going to be the officer intelligence test and a picture perception and discussion test while the other is going to be the psychological test which will be taken by a psychologist followed by group task and then a personal interview. And after that, you will be selected based on your pilot aptitude test, which consists of written and machine tests to assess the candidate's ability to read instruments as well as their mental strength and how efficiently they can perform in a different circumstances. This test must be cleared in the first attempt. Otherwise, you will be deemed ineligible for the flying branch and cannot apply again. After you pass on all these stages, you will have a medical examination. Your height and weight should be based on the following criteria. Now, if NDA is not the route for you, then you can also become a commercial pilot. To pursue the commercial pilot branch, you will have to have you will have to go for the bachelor's degree. You should have your commercial pilot training program. The entrance exam, interview, and a medical test will be there by the particular institute. So, whichever institute you want to go for, these things are going to be there. And the fees will be somewhere around 15 to 20 lakhs. How after completing your bachelor's degree in commercial pilot training, you have to go for the flying experience. A lot of airline companies require pilots to take aptitude test and psychological test as a precondition for employment. So that is how you earn a pilot's license. You get a complete additional training and test according to the company requirement and then Leaping from pilot to the rank of a captain completely depends on the seniority and your experience. So that is how you advance as an airline pilot. The, for the higher education, so if you want to continue your education after bachelor's degree, then these are the courses you should be doing in graduation and in post-graduation. The skills which are required to become a pilot are going to be the strong technical skills, critical thinking and decision making situational and environmental awareness, good communication skills, the highly focused and disciplined personality, striving continually for excellence, high level of flexibility, mental stability and physical fitness, good sense of teamwork, inherited and learned leadership quality. So all these skills will be absolutely required for you to become pilot. So if you're looking forward to become a pilot, try imbibing these skills in you right from the beginning. As rightly said by Apollo, whatever you decide to do, make sure it makes you happy. So if you want to become a pilot, make sure that is what makes you happy and that is how you decide your career.